shoulders. I'll tell you who. Evil and very filthy Dr. Mo. Hey, wait a minute. Botnik's giant robot and recovery roommates. Now, with all the heroes. A new record! But one of our kids gets a little and occasionally terrorizing. And never has it tasted so I'm good. Old chick. Do you think he's more cardio or boys? When did you start getting so wise? I when the time is right. Move. An attack can come from it. You know what? I think now is a good time. We find out how Knuckles, Idris Elba was tricked into assisting Dr. Robotnik prior to fighting Sonic in the first scene of Knuckles, the warrior. Together, they located the Emerald and ended up saving the universe. Knuckles currently shares a room with Tails, Colleen O'Shaughnessy and Sonic, Ben Schwartz. In the end, Knuckles kills a few construction workers, thinking that House Wachowski is being attacked. According to Maddie Wachowski, her kid believes he is a fighter. They let Maddie know that their attorneys will be contacting her. Knuckles is munching potato chips when she finds him after the construction workers have left. Even though Knuckles is in fantastic health, Sonic informs Tails that this crew is the fourth one for the week. Maddie informs them that she will require assistance with Knuckles. Knuckles, according to Sonic, is only becoming used to his new surroundings. They must possess the patience to allow Knuckles to work things out. As soon as they spot Knuckles and the dog on the roof, Sonic says that it could be a good idea for them to have a conversation. When Sonic tries to talk to Knuckles, he only responds with, no. Knuckles clarifies that he is only here on Earth because he promised Sonic and the Fox something. Knuckles is allowed to take a vacation from being a warrior as Sonic tells him they have already won and there is no more fighting. Earth is the ideal location for it. Knuckles muses over it and then decides to settle in. Maddie discovers Knuckles seated at the breakfast table on an iron throne in the morning. It signifies, Knuckles informs everyone, his duty as the family's champion. They will have to defeat him in a battle trial if they wish to take it. When Maddie discovers that he has converted the living room into a gladiator combat arena, she is not amused. Maddie stabilizes him. Knuckles takes it with reluctance. To find out if Wade Whipple, Adam Pally would give her a ride to work, Maddie needs to phone him. Wade doesn't respond since he's too busy getting ready for the impending bowling event. He throws his ball in the incorrect way because Susie diverts his attention. A pep talk is given to Wade by a teammate. Another bowler, whom Jack Sinclair introduces himself to, attempts to talk him out of talking poorly to Susie. Susie's side wins because Wade comes close to getting a strike but misses one pin. He's failed the Renegades, Jack informs him. Wade is adamant that he will do better at the Tournament of Champions. Jack dismisses him from the squad and installs Susie in his place. He tells her that her parents are renting a stretch Hummer since they are wealthy. Wade volunteers to accompany them as a backup. Susie gets his jacket, which Jack steals. Jack hands Wade his card and heads out. Sonic attempts to make Knuckles feel better. When Knuckles has some time to himself, he consults the Echidna elders for advice. Chief Pachacamac pays him a visit and informs him that his search is far from over. Knuckles is in charge of their people's legacy. Knuckles has been asked by the chief to teach an apprentice the ways of the Echidnas. He presents Knuckles with a photo of Wade, who wants to participate in the Reno Tournament of Champions. Nevada. Wade is trying to lift weights when Knuckles discovers him and saves his life. Wade is going to the tournament with Knuckles. Wade thinks Jack was correct when he said he wasn't a warrior. If he takes him to Reno, Knuckles promises to turn him into a warrior. Wade says yes to his proposal. They start on their way to Reno. After a brief conversation, Wade plays one of his signature mixes. It dawns on Agent Willoughby at gun headquarters in London that they had a runner. Knuckles has departed the Green Hills Zone, she has been informed. They ought to let Commander Walters know. She assures Agent Fairley that she is in charge of the circumstance and that she shouldn't worry. Right now, only Willoughby is able to locate Knuckles. Fairley was sacked by her and banished to Mushroom Planet. When Willoughby discovers that one of the aliens is in the wild, he phones the buyer, Rory McCann. He feels that without his companions, Knuckles is weak. The secret to everything he's constructing lies in the quills. 
Willoughby promises to deliver Knuckles to him in a day. To level the odds, the buyer promises to send her something. Wade questions Knuckles about the training in the interim. Knuckles informs him that they must first identify the battleground. Wade shows him where to go bowling. Admitting that he learned everything he knows about bowling from his dad, he says he loves the game. Wade describes to him how his father forsook his family. He feels like he's with his dad again when he bowls. When Wade discovers how skilled Knuckles is at bowling, he is taken aback. Willoughby and her father show up soon after. Willoughby and Mason, Scott Mescudi start shooting at them. Knuckles and Mason got into a fight. After Mason is defeated, Willoughby takes the field. Wade assists him by tossing him bowling balls. Knuckles finds himself stuck inside a box. After noticing one of the weapons, Wade remarks that he has a really stupid idea to assist Knuckles. The first Knuckles episode is a fantastic place for moviegoers to start. Wade needs all the assistance he can get, so Knuckles has the responsibility of training him. Wade, who was dismissed from his bowling team, is keen to participate in the tournament of champions in Reno, Nevada. Agents Willoughby and Mason assault them before their training can start because they want to sell Knuckles to the buyer. At the conclusion of the episode, Knuckles gets kidnapped. As a contemporary take on the video game series, the show looks amazing. Idris Elba adapted really rapidly, despite the fact that Knuckles' character appears a little out of place in the middle of so much silliness. Since the show is mostly about that, it is obviously intended for younger viewers. Though viewers might find the whole affair a bit irritating, the Wade persona matches it better. Again, because it looks fantastic and appeals more to teenagers with its wacky comedy, younger viewers are definitely going to love it. Given how often it has been done before, the bowling viewpoint feels really cheesy. This might have been an even larger smash with a stronger plot. It's a simple viewing that doesn't need much from viewers, and it will end quickly. But don't count on Knuckles to be in the limelight for long.